Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AEO Gray Organics. In this video, we will see about rapid tissue test for phosphorus analysis. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel videos will be useful for agriculture education related videos, especially related to ICR entrance, then TNAU entrance, then other agriculture universities entrance examination and agriculture job opportunities. In our channel, daily quizzes will be uploaded in our community tab. So these quizzes will be very useful to you. So if you are started following our channel, you can able to enhance your knowledge in agriculture. You can share our channel to your friends so that they also can be benefited. First we will see what is meant by rapid tissue test. So rapid tissue test means for example, you have grown a plant. You have started crop cultivation, but these plants are showing some deficiency symptom. So during that time, instead of the soil analysis, you can go for the analysis of this plant tissue so that immediately you can collect this plant tissue and you can go for the analysis of this plant samples immediately. So within some time for this, you need to have some of the chemicals, only one or two chemicals are needed. So that is the benefit of this rapid tissue technique. So this rapid tissue technique is available for most of the plant essential nutrients. So in this video, we will see about phosphorus. I did this procedure before one year when my maize plant shown deficiency symptom of phosphorus. You may know that maize is the indicator plant for phosphorus deficiency. I have uploaded that video in our channel also. So during that time, I did this rapid tissue technique. Now I am uploading this procedure with the exact procedure. You can watch up to the end of this video. Here, first we will see what are the reagents required for this rapid tissue analysis of phosphorus. So first the solution needed is ammonium molybdate solution. For this, we have to take 8 gram of ammonium molybdate in 100 ml distilled water. Then we have to add 126 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid and we have to make up the volume of 300 ml. So this is 300 ml. So we have to make up. Next, if we are immediately using, then we have to dilute it with the distilled water in the ratio of 1 is to 4 or else we can store in the amber colored bottle and we can use at later stage. So this is the solution preparation of ammonium molybdate. Next, we need stannous chloride powder. So that is powder is enough. We no need to take any solution of stannous chloride. So these are the only two reagents that are required for this rapid tissue analysis of phosphorus. Next is we will see about procedure. So with the procedure what we have to do is we have to collect the leaf samples from the plant. So the leaf sample collection procedure for each and every plant varies. For example, maize plant we can collect depending on the stages of this sowing deficiency. We can collect the leaf sample of above shoot region. Over here I have collected the leaf sample of three aspect. So one is with no deficiency symptom. Next is slightly deficiency symptom. Next is high deficiency symptom. So these are the three type of the leaf I have collected based on the visible symptom of the leaf. We have to chop the leaves and uh, we have to take in a test tube. Small test tube is enough or we can take it in the falcon tube also. Then we have to add 10 ml of ammonium molybdate solution and we have to wait for few minutes. Just we can wait for few minutes that is enough. Then after shaking we have to add a pinch of stannous chloride. Adding a pinch is enough no need to add more. So after waiting for one or two minutes, we can observe the color development. So these are the three types of the color development we can able to see. If the solution appears dark blue color, that particular soil is sufficient in phosphorus. If the color development is blue is green in color, so there is a slightly deficiency of phosphorus. So the uptake has been reduced. So it has produced blue is green. If there is no color development, then the soil is highly deficient in phosphorus. So the plant has not taken up any phosphorus from the soil, which resulted no color development. So these are the three types of color development that we can observe for this phosphorus. As I have taken these three type of deficiency symptom, just we can able to see slightly there is a difference between three, but there is a color development. So the soil is slightly deficient in phosphorus. Hence we have added some additional phosphorus dosage. I hope this video would have been useful to you. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel and you can share our channel with your friends also. Thank you.